I think the most important values for me is to be true to myself and try to help other people nowadays that people helped me when I was a young child and needed a lot of help and a lot of support. I learned so much from those around me, which means that I can actually help out and help others now. And that will always be the thing that motivates me the most. There are so many experiences from my childhood that influenced me. Everything from learning to sit up for the first time without support, learning to lift a bottle with my mouth for the first time and drink without using my hands, learning to write. But depending on how you define childhood, when I was 12 years old and I saw a guy from Britain with no arms and no legs win the World Championship gold in swimming for people with disabilities when I couldn't swim, I think that defined me the most because that made me realize that if he can do that, so can I. And that probably changed my life the most. But all these little things before helped out as well. I don't work with regrets. <laughs> I really don't. So many people regret a lot of things all the time. I can only reg regret the things that I didn't think through. I make the wrong decisions every day. But I think them through and I try to do what's best, and then I can't regret it. I don't like regrets. I like to see how can I perform better. So I, no, I don't have any regrets. It's, and, and that's important. It's not because I, did, I haven't done anything wrong. I have. But I thought it was right when I tried. But so many people feel guilty and feel regrets about things that they cannot change and cannot affect. I can affect most things in my life that's in the future. It's really hard to affect the things in the, in the past. It's like when, when, you, when you always try to learn from history and learn from what you have done before. There's an old uh, a Swedish sports psychologist that talks about when you drive a car, you need a rear view mirror, but it needs to be a lot smaller than the front screen. Too many children, youth, adults today have too big a rear view mirror and keep focusing on the history instead of driving the car. I think that my life would have been very different without teachers who actually helped me to mature, helped me to understand who I am, but also the most important thing is that my teachers dare to say to me, do it again, you can do better because every child wants to get out of it. I think every child, every youth, tries to say, I can't do this. And it's very easy for a teacher to accept that I say that I can't do this. And the best teachers never did. When I changed uh, school between uh, uh, secondary school, um, I came to a new class and I was a bit worried. And I never felt at home during the first five, six months in my new class. And I couldn't say that anything, someone did anything wrong. It just, it wasn't a real class. We weren't happy together, we weren't joking, we weren't laughing. And after five months, one of my classmates came up to me and he said, David, our teacher told us that we have to be nice to you. Do you really want that? I said, no. I want to be a normal relationship. And then we started having fun. Because sometimes we are so worried to do something wrong that we don't dare to do anything at all. And that's what happened. When they wanted to be nice, they were too nice. And that's important as well. I think many people with disabilities or with maybe that looks in a different way or talks in a different way, they're not being bullied. People are being nice to them. And it's really, my, my absolutely best friends in life are the ones who forgets that I'm in a wheelchair. Because I forget that I'm in a wheelchair. My identity, exactly as all the children you have in classes, my identity is a lot more than you see in the beginning. If you meet all these children, all these youth in school, 
they're not only boys or girls, immigrants, other religions, short, tall, thin, thick. There's so much more than we see in the beginning. And that's important. I think that's values that defined me. I think what motivated me as a child is the same thing that motivates me now, to learn something new. I don't care if it's winning a Paralympic gold medal, if it's a world record, if it's meeting the Prime Minister of Slovenia, if it's meeting the Pope. It's something that I haven't done before. It can be a new computer game that I play with my toes. It can be Guitar Hero with my feet. I don't care. The most important thing is to treat the, the feeling you have in your body when you learn something new as a victory against yourself. You know there can be many disadvantages with being in a wheelchair or being disabled. One real advantage that I had in school was that I was never anonymous. No, everyone always saw me. I had the full attention of teachers everywhere around me. And the thing the children need today in school is that the teachers have time to see them, to treat them and to take care of them and treat them and, and teach them values. That was never my problem because I had almost too much support compared to the other ones. And I think that's what we need in school today. Time for the students, time for the children. I respect and admire so many people. I have so many role models. I don't have one. I can't have one because then I would say that someone is perfect and I don't believe that any human being can be perfect. I have 50 role models from athletes like Muhammad Ali to um, artists like Michael Jackson to my first superhero, my first role model, Superman. You, you don't have to have one. You can have so many different role models. And they don't have to be idols. They can be role models. I have my swim coach, I have my parents, I have some of my friends that are absolutely amazing people that I want to learn from as well. And if I combine all the little things that I like in 50 people, maybe I can find a good model for me that I will try to become. I don't think you should try to earn the respect as a role model. You should try, just try to become the best person you can be. Then you will become a role model. You shouldn't fight to become a role model. That's what happens when you're amazing at what you do. Teachers, movie stars, soccer players, they should be the best they can be. The thing to remember if you are a role model is that you can't take a break. You're always a role model. You're not free. There are so many different role models, not only the ones we see on television or listen to on Spotify. We have so many different role models. We have parents, we have teachers everywhere who are role models every day. And it's hard, but you can't take a break. If you're a role model, you're a role model 24-7. And that's so important to remember. If you're having a really bad day, take vacation. Don't go there. And if you're a parent who has a really bad day, get a friend, get your grandparents, get someone to say, can you come and smile towards my child today because I don't have the energy. Take the help to do it because everyone needs it since we just realized and accepted that no one is perfect. I think that one of my main advantages was that my parents, they were very young when they got me, were too young and a bit too stupid because they were young to realize that I was a problem and that they ought to be sad. They were teenagers. They were happy, which meant that they always looked at me with happy eyes. They always treated me happily because they were happy. So many children today 
are faced with sad, worried, concerned eyes, which means that you will just know that something is wrong, but not what is wrong. And I believe that we need to remember that children will get their self-esteem when they mirror themselves in adults' eyes. If I mirror myself in happy eyes, I will have a higher self-esteem than if someone always treats me as a problem, as a nuisance, as someone who doesn't understand. And isn't it true that if everyone walks around and says to you that you're happy and amazing, every child would become happy and amazing. But if everyone around you says that you're a problem, I can guarantee that that's what you will become. My favorite toy. When I was a, a small child, I, I loved just a regular tennis ball because I just started moving without my wheelchair on the floor. So I kept kicking the tennis ball against the wall and when it came back, I kicked it again, like tennis without the volley. <laughs> and just to learn how to move. I played that for hours. I think my parents hated the sound of that ball, but they knew it was good training, so I did it every day. And later when I got older, I still love computer games. My Xbox, that's my favorite toy. And I believe that everyone, parents, teachers, children, we need one toy that it makes those hours so fun that we forget the time. And I don't care if the, the toy is yoga or picking mushrooms or running or playing Xbox, but something that gets your mind off all the seriousness. We are better as people if we can play a little. Yeah, Die Straits CD, <laughs> Brothers in Arms. That was my first purchase with my real money. <laughs> and I made the money of removing lawn, uh, removing weed from my parents' lawn with my toes. And I bought the Die Straits CD. <laughs> I think that uh, many people mix up being an idol and being a role model because there is a huge difference. An idol you see on TV and they're supposed to be perfect in everything even though we know that they're not. A role model is someone that every child can look up to and learn from and be educated by. The most important role models aren't tennis players or Shakira. <laughs> The most important role models are the people that we get inspiration by in everyday life. And teachers matters the most, together with, I would say, parents, coaches. My message to both parents and teachers is teach the children and the youths to be happy with what they do, be proud with what they do, not to compare themselves to everyone else in the world every day. Because if you always compare yourself to everyone else, you will always lose. <laughs> there, was, there will always be someone better than yourself. I don't care if everyone in the world are better than I am as long as I develop. I don't care about becoming the best person. I care about becoming better than I was yesterday. And I think that is the most important gift we can give to children, to realize that life is not a competition. The only competition you have is the one with yourself yesterday. I'm not sure what achievements I'm the most proud of. I think the last one or the next one I think that we need to stop looking at achievements as gold medals or world records or how many people have I met or how much money do I make. I don't care. My next achievement is what matters. And I don't care if it's a computer game or winning a debate in Gothenburg City Hall or if it's meeting um, some fascinating people. The next one. Gold medals are fun. 
but it's not about gold medals. It's a bonus. If I compare my best achievement in swimming, it wouldn't be a gold medal. It would be the day I learned how to swim. That's a bigger step. And that's the way I think in every area, not only in swimming. My message to the children would be, be proud, have fun, learn, develop, and enjoy life. And try to reach as far as possible based out of your own abilities and don't care so much about what everyone else can do. Care about them feeling well, but don't care about how good they are, because that's really irrelevant. And I know that this might sound like I think that everything is about attitude, but I don't think so. Not everything is about attitude, but a lot more than we think is about attitude. I will always need support and help in my life. But if I get the support, no one knows my limits. And that goes for every child in school today. We have no idea about where their limits are. The only thing we know is if we see them, if we treat them respectfully, if we educate them, they can reach the moon and back. I know that a project for role models like this one is extremely important because I know how much my role models meant to me. We all need people to look up to, to get inspiration from, to learn from, and also that shows us that a lot more than we believe possible is possible if we have the right support around us, if we dare to fail, and if we learn with each mistake.